Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm doing a request by a viewer of the channel. They wanted to have animated bullet points on the side of a video. Now, what I'm gonna be covering in this video is the mechanics of how to get this done. The design part of it will take a long time and it's really just something like trial and error and you kinda of have to do a lot of work to try to make something look nice. And you can't really teach design or creativity. So that's something you kinda of have to do on your own to figure out. But the mechanics are something that I can teach and they're something you can implement and then work from afterwards, the design afterwards. So there's two ways of doing this. The first way is what I'm showing you right here. And basically what this is, we're just having this right here and you see that as the video plays, we have something like top news or just even just bullet points in like a course video. And then you have the bullet points coming up at different times. And you know, I can move the second bullet point over. So the first bullet point comes up and then at a certain point in time, you see nothing's happening in here. Then we get all the way over here. And then said secondly, or suddenly the second bullet point comes up. So this is basically the effect we're gonna be creating in After Effects. Um, I'm probably gonna do the other version when I'm showing you, uh, which is to just leave this video as is and just crop the right side off of it. But if you want the entire video, you're going to have to shrink it down and understand by shrinking it down, you're going to have this blank space down here in the bottom and you're gonna to have to find something to do with it. The image that he linked here is this one right here. And so this is what I'm talking about with design. This will be a lot more difficult to create, especially because there's moving graphics and stuff like that on here. But what we're just gonna be doing is creating a simple graphics over here on the right side that sort of just illustrates maybe some bullet points that should be coming up or some facts about the location or something like that. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go hit here to hit composition, new comp, and create ourselves a comp, just give it a name. 234, sounds like an appropriate name. Uh, then we're going to just go into here, we're gonna click and drag our footage in here. So now we have our footage just from the base right here. And so maybe we want to, let's go into layer, new, and then solid. And then we're gonna go up to white, click okay. And then so now we have this solid right here. Now what we wanna do is we want to mask this out. So let's create a mask like so. And that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, so we can make it span the entire right screen. We can make it span a little bit of the screen. It doesn't really matter. Again, this is all down to the design. Um, so we can use this one. And if we wanted to create something maybe slightly cooler, we could control C, V this, maybe go into here, go into transform, make the mask slightly or the scale just a, a tiny bit bigger. You'll see that it kind of goes out like that, and that's because our anchor point's in the center over here, which is gonna increase by that. But we can just kind of readjust it here. And then we're going to take this one and we're gonna drop it beneath, the bigger one beneath it. And then we're going to go up and do layer, solid settings. And we're gonna drop its brightness a little bit. And then now it's almost got like a little bit of a 3D effect kind of happening with it because of the new layer added, so we can kind of drop that down a little bit more, bring it up, maybe bring it over a little bit. Yeah, that probably looks a little better right there. And so yeah, like you can just kind of design this and style it the way that you want. You can even um, grab both of these, link them together. So after they're like this, we should probably go ahead and click the bottom one and attach it to the first, so that whenever I, I move the first round, the bottom goes with it. And then we can do something like, um, have an animation for them to come in, so position it off the screen, maybe to the right. And then maybe after about a second, it just slides into place, whoops, wrong one, just slides into place, drag it back on over. You kinda want it to go a little bit too far, and then move a couple forward, and then have it come back. And then we want that a little bit quicker. And then we're gonna add a little bit of motion blur to that. And so now we have kind of a neat animation of it coming in. Um, maybe just to make it look kind of cool. Anyway, as the video goes, maybe we wanna kind of list some key aspects of this place. So what we can do for that is we're going to go, once it's here, we're gonna create, click the text tool and we're going to then drag out a text box right here and type something that we want. Um, we could have something like maybe on this location, just make something up here located in the heart of the Amazon jungle. That sounds great. 
So have a little bullet point here. Now, if you want to create a bullet point up here, there's different ways to add it. Uh, if you have a keyboard with a numpad, all you have to do is hold down the Alt key, hit 7, then release the Alt key, and it'll create yourself this. It's how to create symbols. You can also just search for a bullet point on Google. So if I just searched bullet point, I'm searching it over on my right screen. I'll bring it over in a second. Bullet point Alt code, you'll see this come up right here. And you can actually just highlight this, Control C, and then Control V in here, and then just copy and paste it every time you need it. Just a couple different ways to do it. Um, anyway, we have this bullet point, so now we have kind of the message that we want our first bullet point to have. So then we're going to go up to here, we're going to go to text, then we're going to click the stopwatch on the position, and the stopwatch on the opacity. We're going to drop down that opacity, and this is the where we want it to end. So we're going to click this position marker, and we're going to move it out here because that's where we want it to end. So then we're going to drag this one oops, downward so that it slides up. And then we're going to move up to here. And we're going to bring up the opacity back up to 100%. And then let's make this a little bit of a speedier transition. Because this is like going over half a second. That's, that just feels too long. So this slides in. Then we have our first bullet point slide up. And it kind of fades in. And maybe this is actually a little bit too fast here. So we're going to bring that out a little bit more. And now we kind of have this nice slide in. And we're also going to give this one some motion blur as well. Motion blur makes everything moving look better. And then, we, of course, we can do what we were doing in the other videos. And we can go into the keyframes um, and actually sort of, you know, like easy ease stuff in. So if we wanted to go here, which one is it? Easy ease in. We can give it sort of a little bit of an effect as it slides in. Just makes it a little bit feel a little bit smoother. I'll probably want to do it to these as well down here, but it, it, again, that's all style stuff. Um, and I'll link the video for the uh, keyframe tutorial below if you want to kind of figure out how to animate your keyframes a little bit better. So then the next thing we want to do is we want to click on this one. We hit Control C and V to copy that one as well. And then so now we're going to go into here, and you'll notice that they're just right now both happening at the exact same time, moving in the exact same place. It's an exact duplicate. So what we want to do is we want to take these keyframes, and first off, we want to move them over or we can move the entire piece of footage over, it doesn't matter. So now they come in at different points. Then we want to go to the point where it's highlighted, where it's finished its animation, which will be the point where no motion blur is happening anymore. You can zoom in and find this a little bit better. It kind of gets a little bit hard with this animation key. Right there is where it is. So then we're going to go ahead and highlight both these top keys. The opacity can stay the same, but the position needs to change. So we're going to highlight both these top keys. We're going to go back into the selection tool, and we're going to click this bottom one. And then we're going to drag the entire thing down. If we hold Shift, we can make sure that it is located, um, that it goes in a straight line down. We're going to position this where we want the end to be, and we're going to let that go. The reason we highlight both these is it's going to adjust the position of both of them so you're editing both keyframes at the same time. Now we have our second one slide up. You can see the, the little effect we added, how it slows down just right at the very end. Like I said, it just makes it look a little cleaner. And then now we can go ahead in here and we can change the text around. Um, just come up with some other random thing like one of the world's national treasures. Just like so. And then we can keep doing that over and over. Now you can see that the second bullet point comes up. And of course we can move this to any point in the timeline that we want. So if we want it to happen over here, we have the, the thing slide in, we have our first bullet point, a bunch of time passes, and then we have our second bullet point slide in, and then you know can all the rest of them can slide in as well. And that is basically it on this tutorial on how to do this. This is the mechanics behind it. Like I said, you can add in um, the style is sort of unique to what you want to do with it. Uh, and it gets a little bit more complicated the more stylish you want it to be. That kind of comes into adding different layers. And you might even need to jump into Photoshop to create something and then drag that over here into After Effects. But that is basically it on this tutorial. Uh, if you got any questions or comments, go ahead and throw those in the comment section below or suggestion for future tutorials. Like I said, this was created off of a suggestion for a future tutorial. Um, so yeah, you, I'd love to create videos that you guys want to actually see so that's really really good it benefits both of us if you want to see more videos similar to this one i'm making adobe video every other day so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and until next time guys see ya